Hello friends, welcome back to part 6 of uh, JBoss series. In this video, we will see how we can deploy the application uh, in standalone mode as well as in the domain mode. Okay, that means when we are, we have only one JBoss instance, then how we can deploy the application and how we can deploy it when we have a uh, domain mode servers where we have multiple servers are running inside the different server groups. Okay, that means we would have a multiple server groups and then when we are deploying an application, then how we can deploy the applications to some different server groups. Okay, so let us talk about a standalone domain. Well, let's, let, let us first go with the deployment in the standalone mode. Okay, so now if in, in all the previous part, we have discussed about the basic concept and then we have done the installation and then configurations of your JBoss as well. Okay, so I hope you have all gone all through of this videos and your JBoss instance is up and running. So in that case, we first access your a management console and once you will access your management console then you will see this screen and then after that because we are going for a deployment so click on the deployment tab okay and once you will click on the deployment tab okay so in front of deployment you will see a drop box option okay click on that one and then after that you have to select the upload deployment okay so once you will click on the upload deployment then you have an option either you can select it from the from from your local directory or either you can drag and drop okay when when you are in a windows machine okay so i have selected my or uploaded my code file which is shopping code dot war file it is a sample uh, war file for testing purpose okay which you can use for the uh, testing of your applications like deployments okay and if you need this file you can write to me on digitalk.fmw at gmail.com i will send that file to you as well okay so i have uploaded my uh, code file then click on next after that it will ask you for the name and runtime name okay and you wanted to enable this application or not after quickly after the deployment of application give it the same name as of your application in my case it is shopping core.war so i have given the same for the name and runtime name and then i have set the enable option and click on finish okay so once it is done it will show you the option upload successfully it will take some time based on the size of your application okay and that you can uh, close after this this particular window or you can click on the view deployment okay so after that this application will be displayed inside your deployment tab on the left side right and you can click on the application and you can you can see the properties of your files like what is the name of your file what is the context root of your application and then the different other options as well right and if you wanted to see the complete source code of your file okay in case of bar file okay then click on the view okay on in, in in the tab of your application and then you can inside that you will see that you can have an option where you can explore all the contents of your code file in my case inside that var file i have a folder with name meta hyphen inf then a folder with name web inf inf and then inside that i have different configuration files class file pages okay so everything is displayed in front of you okay that means it will display all the code which is there inside your var file right so now my application is deployed okay so by default it, i have uh, this is a standalone mode so that means it is going to deploy on the uh, default jvm which is running as of now right so in that case you can access the application with the help of port 8080 and then slash shopping cart okay so shopping cart is the context of my application 8080 is the default web server port of my application uh, server right so i can access my application with the help of this particular format Okay, so this is how we can deploy application in the standalone mode where we have only single instance of JVM is running, right? So because it was a single instance, so we haven't get any option like server group and on which server you want to deploy, on which server group you wanted to deploy because it was a standalone mode. Now, when we talk about a deployment in domain mode, right? So in domain mode, we know that we have a multiple uh, JBoss instances are running. They would be in same server groups or there could be multiple server groups and then from each server group you could have a multiple uh, instances of JBoss that are running right so when you go for the deployment of an application then how we can target the application to a particular server group right so again you go back to your management console okay with the help of port 9990 and then slash console okay now again once you on there you can click on the deployment tab okay once you will click on the deployment tab okay then you will see two options one is content repository and second is server groups okay so in part previous part five as well i have explained that when we go for the deployment of the applications specifically in deployment mode then this option you will see a content repository so it is a repository for all of your code files that means whatever the file that you are going to deploy in any of your server group 
or servers okay you have to upload that file first in your content repository and from that this location where the file is uploaded you can activate the file and during the activation you can assign the group server group on which server group you wanted to deploy this particular applications okay so now click on the content repository after that you can click on the drop tab on the right side which is in front of content as of now there is no uh, code file so it is showing the content as zero click on the upload content option after that again you will get an option to either you can select it from the from your file system or maybe you can drag drop if you're on a windows okay then i have selected my code file as shopping.war click on next it will again ask you for a name and runtime name for your application give the same name whatever is for your application and after some time based on the size of your application whatever the size of your application it will take some time and then your code file will get uploaded right so now what does it mean in that case now we have a domain board so in, in in the standalone mode when we uploaded the file it was get deployed on your standalone mode right now when we are in a domain mode when we upload the file in our content repository that means it is only uploaded it is not deployed right because we have a multiple server groups and multiple servers are there and, and it, your jboss doesn't know on which server group you wanted to deploy your application right so it is just uploaded the content of your code in the content repository now from here you will deploy your application and then activate your application to a particular server group in which you wanted to deploy this particular application right so now we are about your application is visible there inside the content repository and the content count is showing as one because i have a one code file there now click on the drop box in front of your application and then click on the deploy tab now we are going to deploy this particular application right and now this is the option once you will click on deploy then it will prompt you for on which server group you want to deploy right so if you remember that we have two default server groups when we when we start our uh, jboss in domain mode so by default we will have a two server groups so one with the name main server group which will have two jboss instance servers are running and other server group which will have only one single instance of jboss server is running right so what i am doing is that i wanted to deploy it on main server groups that means that means I would like to deploy my application on two servers, right? For high availability, which is running inside my main server group. Okay, select the server group and then click on deploy option. It will take some time and then you will get a message that application is deployed successful if there is no issues with your code, right? So now because we have deployed this application to main server group, to check it, click on the server group option on the left side. And once you will click on server group, it will display all the server groups, which is on their system on the right side and inside the server group, right? So in my case, I have deployed my application on the main server group. So click on main server group. It will show you the application name there because I've deployed my application there, right? And after that, you can access your application with the help of same web server port 8080 and the context of your application, which is shopping card in my case, okay? And application will be displayed in front of you. So this is how we can deploy the application in your standalone mode and as well as in your domain mode. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos.